Hello everybody, happy Friday. <laughs> I had to think, is today Friday? It is Friday. We're just an hour early, not a day early. Um, I hope you guys can find me today. I am gonna do speed Facebook Live today. Actually, not speed, but in a quicker pace. I uh, have to pick up, well, I have to attend an orchestra concert at the middle school at 2.30. So, <laughs> I have to be done right at two o'clock on the dot, okay? So you guys keep me on track. All right, I see you guys jumping on. Hello, everybody. Okay, I can see you guys, excellent. Hello, I hope you guys have had a better week than I have. <laughs> it has been just one of those nonstop crazy weeks. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we went from vacation to ah, craziness. Hey, Stephanie. Um, and this next week is going to be the same. We're going to be gone Tuesday and Wednesday, um, taking our daughter, our oldest, to college. I don't know how that happened. But uh, next week will be crazy, too. But as of right now, Facebook Friday next week is still on for 2 o'clock Friday. Fingers crossed. And I picked, I can't remember the name of it, the stamps that we're going to do next week. Let me tell you while we wait for everybody to jump on. The one with the little bear riding the bike. What's that one called? Joyful Life. Joyful Life. And I have done one project right over my shoulder right there. I have a lot of things I have to get done before I can stamp. But I think we can do it. I think I'll have projects for you next week. Okay, good. So you guys are here. Um, this week we're going to do three projects with a counting sheep stamp set and matching dies. Um, usually these are sold as a bundle, but these are free. Um, free with a $50 purchase, three, free with a $50 purchase. If your order is $100, you can pick both of them. Um, we have level one free items during celebration, and both of those are level one. Um, then we have level two that are free with $100. So you can stack if your order was $500 and you can pick 10 celebration items. You know, it's not, you're not just limited to one. So that's how you get them. The, the dies we've been told are while supplies last. And uh, who knows? Who knows whether they'll sell out or not? But if I had to guess, I would say these probably. So if you want them, get them sooner than later, okay? Kathy, you like the Joyful Life set? Yes, me too. It's very cute. All right, I'm just going to run through a couple of things. You know, I don't have any classes or anything really to advertise, but I can show you sneak peeks. Um, Club Create subscription window for September is open. However, I haven't posted the graphic or the PDF yet um, because it's being used this weekend for special team training and they get first access to it, and I don't want um, any of them to see it before they get it. Um, but it'll be coming sometime next week. It is the Nature's Harvest, and I'm gonna just show you real quick. I've already got the video and everything done. I just haven't listed it, but it's the Nature's Harvest Bundle and Project. So look for this. If you want to get in on the Nature's Harvest Club Create in September, you have from now until September 7th to subscribe. It's $39 a month. You will get um, free product in there, about 20, between 20 and $25 of free product, well, of product, then the make and takes and shipping, PDF and video, all of that for $39. Um, it is a subscription, so when you subscribe, it's gonna charge you every month on the day that you subscribed, unless you cancel. And you can cancel, like maybe you just want one, you can sign up and then cancel, and you will get just one. Um, or you can do like I do when I subscribe to something, I put a note on my calendar that will remind me, you know, like if you wanna if you want to unsubscribe, yeah, I gotta do it by this date. It'll ding and remind me. But I hope that you would stay around because if you stay for six months, um, then you get $25 in product credit. And maybe you don't have the bundle that, um, that we're using that month. You can always substitute what you have or you can add it to your bundle, and I always pay the shipping and tax on those, so they're a little bit less um, for you if you add them to your Club Create kits. Okay, thank you. I have this first time I've worn it. I bought it a long time ago. It feels a little, I don't know, frumpy. <laughs> it's got a lot of fabric, you know, when you wear something that has a lot of fabric. 
feels a little like it's adding too much to you. Anyway, before I put it up, I'll give you one more sneak peek, right? Tomorrow, next week, I'll show you a little bit more in detail. So it's coming. Club Create September. Class to go for September is not done. I've got four of the projects done, but it's going to be the cutest Halloween, Halloween treats class, and it is coming um, whenever I can <laughs> finish it. I'm hoping before the beginning of September. Um, so if you are waiting for Halloween treats, this is one of my most popular classes all year. Those of you that love treats, love treats. And Halloween is our favorite time. Halloween and Valentine are our favorite time to make treats. So this is coming um, hopefully by the end of the month as well. Look, be, look on, be on the lookout for PDF and a class to go on that, okay? All right. Um, BOGO sale is also coming. BOGO sale. Buy one, get one free. That's when I get all my retired product and I price it, and I photograph it, and then I put it in albums here on Facebook, and you pick out what you want and total it up, and it's free with an equal order. So let's say you pick out $100 of free product, then you put in $100 order online, and then the, all of that is free. Um, you'll This time, you'll also get celebration items on your purchase. I mean, it's a lot of free. So that is coming. I put it on today's PDF. Fingers crossed that I will have it all ready. Um, that is coming August 24th, 25th, and 26th. That's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, possibly into Friday, but maybe, probably not. Usually by that end of that third day, a lot of it's gone. Um, so if you like BOGO sales, um, put that on your calendar. The morning of the 24th, I will uh, publish the... Uh, photo albums and I will send a big email out with all the details. We're going to do a Facebook live Tuesday morning maybe or Monday afternoon to talk about it. Um, but I just want you guys to know it's coming. End of the month, last week of the month, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, August 24th, 25th, and 26th. All right. I'm going to flip you around and just show you a couple things and then we're going to get started. I'm not going to talk for very long today. I already feel like I talked longer than I should have. Addie is at orchestra camp this week, and uh, they have a concert today at 2.30. So, let me turn the fan off. So, I have to uh, be there for that. You know, last year was her first year in orchestra, and there was no concert all year um, because of COVID. So, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. She's the first child in the family to pay, play an instrument. <laughs> So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let me see. I got to look at this. There's a um, delay, so I'm trying to see if my little thing is straight. While I'm waiting for that to catch up, here's the all-star tutorial bundle for this month. It's the hand-pinned bundle or suite. Um, there are cards and 3D projects in here. All 12 are video tutorials. Here's mine right here. You can get this free with a $50 order um, online. I did get that straight or it's available in my PDF store. I have a PDF store at the top of my blog. Um, and I'm gonna show you that link in just a second because I'm gonna show you something else at the top of my blog. But free with a $50 order, um, $15 in my PDF store. They're all links to videos. They have the measurements, of course, uh, in Imperial and metric. Did you know that's what inches is called, Imperial? I didn't know that until I started making this tutorial. <laughs> That's what they call it. I just call it inches, but I guess that's the name. Um, anyhow, that's that. If you have put an order in and I haven't emailed you, let me know because, again, I'm having lots of trouble with my email. By the way, I've got a meeting with somebody on Monday, a tech person, yay, who's going to help me get all these tech things straightened out. He says my email is not on the blacklist, which someone had suggested that that's why a lot of my emails are bouncing. But he's going to help me work it out. So hopefully we'll have a better delivery rate with these. But anyhow, if you think that you should have gotten it already and you didn't, please email me. If I don't respond to you, email me again. If I don't respond to you, it's because my, I am responding to you and my emails aren't going through. So find me on Facebook and message me on Facebook. Or put a smoke signal in the sky. Or hire an airplane with a banner behind it. <laughs> Oh, that's what I feel like sometimes. It's annoying. Okay, let's talk about the Celebration Starter Kit. You guys know it's celebration time. 
That is, this is the first time ever in the history of Stampin' Up! that we've done a second celebration in the summer. Um, it's from August 3rd to September 30th. Everything in this catalog is free, um, either with a $50 or $100 purchase. In the back, there is the starter kit details somewhere right here. And I'm just going to go, I'm not going to go all through it like we did last week. If you want to know the full details, go watch my Facebook Live from last week. Basically, the starter kit during celebration is $99. Almost said it's free. <laughs> it's not free. It's $99. Um, you do get free shipping. You get $125 in product for just $99. And it's product that you pick. They don't tell you what product to buy. You pick whatever you want. Then you pick an additional bundle. Okay, so here are the bundles right here. There are 12 of them. I say go for the priciest one on your wish list. I mean, come on, save the save the cheaper ones for when you start ordering with your 20% discount. I'm just saying. Um, anyhow, that is now, between now and the end of September, it's a fantastic deal. We've added a bunch of people to my team already. Um, if you're interested in the details, let me see, I'm gonna show you on my iPad. Let me get my blog up. Whoa, I don't know what that is. That's weird. All right, so here's my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Up here at the top, there are these tabs. Um, PDF store right there. That's what I was going to tell you about earlier, where you can click and scroll through over 100. I don't even know, maybe up to 150, 160 now. Um, PDFs, if you want to shop PDFs. All right, um, then... There's Club Create information. That's where the subscription button is right there. It still has last month's. Know that that was last month. I need to change it. Um, and then join right here. If you want to find out about the starter kit, click the join tab and it'll show you right here the bundles that you can choose. It gives you details. It um, answers lots of questions that you may have. There are... Um, I've listed all the benefits of buying the starter kit. And then there's a link right there. You touch that and purchase the starter kit. And it'll take you over to Stampin' Up! website. You know, I haven't tried it in a long time. I wonder if it still works. <laughs> I think it does, yes. And then down here, right here, join now. So then you would touch that. Sometimes they change our links and then I don't know until somebody tells me. But it's all good, okay? So the main things I talk about are up here. Shopping. Um... Sweet Stampede, I need to remove that because we have a different website now. PDF Store, Club Create, Stampers Roundup, that's my Frequent Flyer Club Card. Join, and then all my Amazon favorites over here, the things that I talk about, the things that I buy from Amazon, they're all listed here. Okay, got it? Got it. All right, let's go. Let's stamp. You guys, if you have any questions about that um, starter kit, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, all stampers are welcome, whether you want to build a business or you just want to support your habit and get a discount. I am welcoming to all kinds of people who join. So don't ever feel bad that if you think I'm not going to build a business, that's okay. We still want you. Or if you want to build a business, we want you. Whatever you want, you're welcome. All right. Prizes from last week, Molly Bishop and Sharon Idle. Um, please email email me or message me your mailing addresses. You are the winners of Little Delights. Um, thank you for sharing my video last week. You were the two winners. This week I've got Measure of Love for two winners who share the video on Facebook. Um, and I will choose winners at random next week. All right, so this week, Club, uh, Club Create, boy, this is not Club Create. Come on, Erica. This is Facebook Friday, and we're doing the counting sheet. Every week, I pick a product, typically a bundle or a stamp set, and I make three projects with it. Um, over at pinkbuckaroo.com, there's a PDF that looks just like this. It has all three projects that we're going to do. Oh, you know what? Did I? I did. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly, I was like, did I update the measurements? Because what I do, and you guys probably have already picked up on this, is that I take last week's, and I duplicate it and then change it and save it as a different document you guys so sometimes you might see something from the previous week I try to change it but sometimes it's the same I mean you know like I forgot to change something but anyway all the um, item numbers are there the measurements everything that you need I the things I talked about are here and the host code is right here if you want to get today's make and takes for free 
put in a minimum $30 order, a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight using this host code right here. And I will send you the make and takes for free. That's not make and takes. That's team meeting make and takes. <laughs> different kind of make and takes but anyway they come they look like this you will need the sheep dies and the sheep stamp set to make your projects I don't cut anything out that is required with these dies so I won't be cutting the fences for you you'll need the dies um and you'll need ink and adhesive I don't do any pre-stamping the only thing you see here is a thank you tag um that I make for you as a thank you look I knew this one was open the bag split open I wonder if anything else is missing Anyhow, I will cut these usually, typically I do those Tuesday morning, they go out on Wednesday. This week the cutoff is still Monday at midnight, but I won't be cutting them until Thursday because I'll be out of town Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so if you get this week's Facebook Friday Make and Takes, just know they're gonna be a little bit later than normal. Couple days. I, I will cut most of it on Monday so that Thursday it'll pretty much, they'll be ready to go. All right, we are ready. Let's move it on along. If you guys weren't here at the very beginning, I have an orchestra concert today at the middle school. This should be very interesting. My daughter said this afternoon, she said, or right before she left, she said, oh, I don't want to go. My teacher doesn't teach very good, and I'm not ready. <laughs> I was like, well, fake it till you make it, sister. And she laughed, and she said, that's what my teacher said, too. <laughs> she, they've got... They've had two orchestra teachers, and now they've got a third that apparently is moving way too fast for her, but we shall see. All right, so the first card we're going to make features... Ooh, what happened to all my comments? There they are. Hello, everybody. Sorry, my comments disappeared. PDF is making sign into Google. Oh, the PDF is making you sign into Google? Never had to do that before. I have no account. Okay. okay, Susan, thank you for letting me know that. The free PDF... Looks like it's having some problems. I may have copied the wrong. Yep, okay. I may have copied the wrong. Um, sometimes I, because I'm not thinking, I click on the um, address at the top and click and paste instead of clicking on the share and paste. And that's probably what I did. So I'll fix it when we're done. Okay, thank you for telling me. Okay, so we're going to make the first card with the... Um, Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. You guys, I am a little bit obsessed with this paper. Hence our Club Create projects next month. This is it. It's, uh, you know, like early fall colors, right? Like it's bumblebee, it's calypso coral, it's pool party, either crumb cake or Sahara sand. They look exactly the same. Um, what else? Oh, and then Misty Moonlight. Look at this piece right here. So what I did with this card is I cut a bunch of little strips so that I could use all, well, not all, but I could use my, all of my favorite pieces in here. And to make this background, that's what I did. So we're gonna make that background, but first let's do, let's get all of our pieces cut. We're gonna stamp the little dancing sheep. You've got three sheep in this stamp set. Um, and in the next project, we're gonna do mirror stamping, which pretty much makes it six sheep what is that what's on there <laughs> did you guys see that look what in the world is that it's dimensional backings all stuck together how does that happen and where does that come from that's weird it's like he was hiding weird y'all probably didn't even see it i shouldn't have said anything um <laughs> we're gonna do mirror stamping in a little while and uh then so then you have like six different sheep all right, I'm gonna stamp the You're Amazing and Misty Moonlight up here um, at the top. We're just gonna cut that out with our um, trimmer. All right, now, when I first colored the sheep and pretty much in all the other projects, I used uh, either Smoky Slate or Gray Granite, but because I put Crumb Cake on this card base, I decided that he's gonna have a Crumb Cake face as well. Um, it, you know, it works. You know, I don't know. Are there any sheep experts here today? I'm sure that sheep come in a variety of colors and styles and <laughs> shapes and sizes. But I just think that they're white with a black or gray face. But anyway, this crumb cake works. Now I'm taking the dark and I'm just going to go wherever the wool would overlap. 
Okay, color in his hooves. We did this last week with the smoky slate. Then go back and blend all of that up. I'm gonna leave his nose pretty light because that is facing the light. So we want that to be the lightest part of him. Okay, there we go. Easy, I like the, um, the coloring of these sheep because it doesn't require very much. That um, stamp set we're gonna do next week, there's a lot of coloring in that stamp set. I colored the bear this morning, bear riding the bike, and it took me quite a while. And I like to color, don't get me wrong. All right, so we're gonna get the dies. There are, in this die set, you've got the three frame dies, and then we've got these other shape dies. Let's do this first and then we'll do the others. I'm gonna use some post-it tape to hold it down because my plates on my mini cut and emboss, they're kind of warped and I'm afraid he's gonna jump. And then we'll have to start all over. Inevitably, when you're trying to be quick, right? Um, all the bad things happen. Hopefully that doesn't happen today. Um, Becky says, sheep are all colors. Our neighbors have lots of varied colors. Fun. Um, you know, I don't know a lot about sheep, but when my daughter was doing FFA and 4-H, they had lambs, which they kept them sheared. So they were kind of brownish. I don't know. They, they, they weren't white. That's for sure. This is my favorite die in the set, the little fence, because it embosses and cuts at the same time. We're gonna cut the flag out of Misty Moonlight. And then I have the smallest heart from the Give It A Whirl dies because he's gonna just be marching around there with the flag. This he's a happy sheep. Okay, there we go. Put the die back so you don't lose it. Especially that tiny heart. You know, I lost a big die. I lost, somehow, I lost the biggest rectangle in the um, scallop contour dies. Ugh, so mad. How do you lose? That's a big one. I'm hoping it's like between some paper somewhere and not actually like gone for good. Because that would be very upsetting. All right, so now we've got our pieces. Let's get our other pieces going. I cut a piece of crumb cake that is three and three fourths by five. And then I cut all of these strips. Um, they are five eighths by about five. I make them longer. You know what, let's get the grid paper because that'll help us keep it straight. I make them longer so that I can cut them off and they'll be even with my cardstock. So grid paper, match the edges, right? And then you can just use the lines on your grid paper to kind of guide you. And I'm just gonna lay them all on here to kind of get an idea of where they need to be. You know me, I, I just do it and then I rip them, <laughs> rip them off as I go if they don't, they're not in the right place. But I'm gonna try to do it right today. I'm a measure once, cut twice girl, unfortunately. I know the saying, but I don't follow my, I don't follow it like I should. You know the saying, measure twice, cut only once. That way you don't make mistakes. All right, let's get this first one going. This one looks like, um, it looks nautical to me, this piece. It looks like coral on, like, I don't know, it looks like, sea coral or whatever but I guess it's branches all right I need to get this piece down here straight so that I can tell what I'm doing let's get it straight there we go okay I could see your comments flying by but I'm not going to stop yet um I have a, a pepper report for you all those of you who like my little puppy. Um, the place that she gets groomed, they have puppy daycare. And I always thought that was dumb, right? Puppy daycare. 
but she's been real bad lately when, well, not lately, for probably the last year. When we go for a walk, she acts like she's going to tear the head off any dog that comes by, right? Like she's just, and she's 13 pounds. She's tiny. Um, and then at our team meeting here on Monday, she was barking at everybody. So, you know, she's a quarantine puppy, so she's not socialized. So she needed to get grooming. She has to get groomed way more often than the other two. Um, probably two times between when they need to get groomed. There we go. Looks pretty straight. So I decided I'm going to do get her groomed and let her go for half a day at puppy daycare. Doggy day. Doggy play care. And um, they have a camera. And so Addie went with me and we were all like new moms with our little baby dropping her off. And the whole time she was there, she did not... She, well, the good news is... She didn't, she didn't fight any dogs. <laughs> um, the bad news is she also stared at the door waiting for us to come back pretty much the whole time. She would not play any dog that came over to her. She would like turn away. She did not, she was not a fan. But at least I know that she's not going to kill every dog she sees. I thought she would love it. It was all fun. They had like a pool and... You know, dogs running around, and it was a little dog day, so she wasn't she wasn't scared, but she didn't like it. <laughs> All right, I've got another piece of the DSP, and um, I punched it there with the tailored tag punch. We're gonna put it on here with dimensionals. I know, Debbie, poor Pepper. She was thinking, come and get me so that I can go and lay on your bed like the princess that I am. Why did you bring me to this place? She, she was not having it. Little stinker. But I don't know. We may try it again. Oh, wait. We got to do our little, um, our little, oh, no. Where are my little mini dimensionals? Do I not have any? Oh, no. All right. Let's use, I think I'm going to need to get some because I think we used quite a bit of them today. I'm going to use my foam adhesive strips for our fence. Hopefully I cut them skinny enough. Have any of you? Um, oh, Jen, hey, you took, you've taken, um, your, we use the same vet. I didn't know. You've taken them to, taken her to puppy daycare and she liked it? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I thought she would like it. I mean, what's not to like? It was so funny to watch. I mean, they, they really, I do need so many dimensionals. Okay, hold on. I got to find some. Um, they have so many fun little things. And they said that they would have nap time, you know, like a real daycare. And they did. And all the dogs laid down and took a nap. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, what, what world is this? If I told my dogs to take a nap. They would look at me like I was crazy. It was funny. Okay, so a little mini dimensional there. Holding on to the little sign, I mean, a little flag. Got to try several days, Denise, yeah? She'll get bored of waiting. Okay, and play. Every, every time a dog came over to her, she was like a little snob, like, get away from me. Like, she would sit down if they were trying to, you know, like, sniff her or whatever. She was like, get out of here. Leave me alone. She was not curious about any of them. She did when they were outside. She ran around a little bit, but not with other dogs. And then she would just go over to the fence and look. She's a little diva, that one. All right, now we're going to put dimensionals. Got a crumb cake card base. And then, last but not least, we are just going to cut this, um, these words. If you have ever read one of my PDFs, you've probably seen where I, I say, cut the words out to the width and the height of the words. So that's what that means. Like, I'm just cutting it however tall the words are. And then about the length right and i've left a little bit of length on the left side so we can put a um linen bow second time she was all in jen okay that's good to know that is good to know uh oh i need to cut it a little bit shorter it's going to run into our flag my mom and i were saying maybe we should take millie too there were two corgis there and if Millie was there, she probably would, she probably relax. I, I know Millie would just go crazy. Millie would love it. 
I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you. Doggy daycare. Who would have thought? There's a cute little show on... Is it Netflix or is it... Um, Prime? I think it's called puppy school or it's like a like a little documentary of a, this huge doggy daycare business in England and one night we were trying there we go Ta-da! one night we were trying to find something to watch with the girls because you know that's difficult um and we stumbled on that and it was like I couldn't stop watching it was so cute um if you guys like dogs and just funny cute and it was just a little documentary and they followed some of the dogs around and met the owners it was just really cute but there's only like three episodes it's very cute all right I'm gonna put this on the inside I meant to do that just a piece of white if you wanted you could stamp your other sheep there maybe um or maybe you know what else do we have in the stamp set the grass is cute across the bottom would be cute maybe another fence if you wanted to carry the design on the inside <clears throat> excuse me Okay, oh, frog in my throat. Let's move on to the next card. I don't think I need that again, so I'm gonna put that back there. Next up, we have a baby card. Yay, that's kind of the first thought I had with this, this, that and jumping over the moon, which I do have a jumping over the moon card coming on Monday, okay? So make sure you check back, <clears throat> it has a video as well. <coughs> I don't know where that, frog in my throat came from. I'm so sorry. Okay. Woo, I just dropped all my pieces. Hold on. There we go. All right. This card features two different stamp sets, the counting sheep, and then the sentiment is from All for Baby, Hello Little One, and the little dot that we're going to use is from Penguin Place. You could use, look at your stamps, see, you know, what you have. You don't have to have this one a dot, a heart, something that we're just going to stamp around the edge. And we're going to do mirror stamping with our um, sheep. But let's do that background first because that's my favorite part. Actually, no, let's do the sheep. Yeah, let's do the sheep first. I lied. I lied. Okay, let's get the stamparatus. You guys have seen me do this multiple times. I don't think I need this in here, but I'm going to put it in here anyway. Um... What was I gonna say? Mirror stamping. One of the easiest techniques you can do. It helps you turn your, where is my sheep? Is it the one we used last time? It is, right? Nope, it's the one we're over oh, here. And do I need to clean it? Let's see. Yeah, I think it's okay. Um, what am I trying to say? This will help you get more use out of your stamps because you're going to be able to reverse it so you'll have it facing one direction and then when you do this it'll face the other direction so I've got my stamparatus with my silicone mat and I'm going to stamp it directly onto the mat in memento lay my white piece down rub it <clears throat> put down that magnet and stamp it again the reason I stamp it again is so that when I'm done I can flip it over and line up my die with, oh, stop it, line up my die, <laughs> line up my die with the back side, okay? So here's the front side, see? Now we'll just stamp it regular also because we need it on the front as well. We need it going left and right. Mirror stamping, one of the easiest things you can do. Now, if you're not using a punch or um, a die, you don't necessarily need to use your um, stamparatus. The stamparatus is to help you get that back side uh, stamped so that you'll know where to cut it out with your die. All right, and this time I am gonna use Smoky Slate, going back to the standard gray color. Don't forget the ears. And then I'm gonna do the dark. Elizabeth, I like this technique too. I do it all the time. I feel like I do it too much. You guys are probably like, oh, here she is again doing her mirror stamping. I actually tried it too with a 
that other stamp set. Why can't I remember that stamp set's name? The bear, bicycle, blah, 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 whatever it's called. Ah, colored his eye. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> oh, well. And uh, it didn't work very well with what I wanted, but we'll see. I'm not quite done with that project. All right, so we're going to do this. Tomorrow, I'm taking my mom out on the lake on the boat by myself. It's gonna be the first time I'm gonna do the boat without my husband. I think I got it all down. I think I know what to do, except if something bad happens, like it breaks down, which it shouldn't. My husband's out of town, there won't be any calling him. I think, I think I can do it. The last time we were out there, I did everything to see, make sure I could pull the anchor, did all of that, and I could. So we'll see. We'll see if I can manage it. It's in a marina now, so I don't have to back it in. That I could not do. Back it in, and I could back it in. I could not put it back on the, the um, what do you call that? You know what I'm talking about. The trailer. No way. No way. I hate, I always have to go back it in, and I hate hate or back the truck in and I hate doing that because um everybody's watching right have any of you done that I'm sure some of you have a boat and a husband where he makes you go back the truck in so he can pull the boat on oh god it's like super stressful <laughs> I can back a truck in I just can't back a truck with a trailer in very well now if nobody's watching I can totally do it, no problem. But when there's a line of 10 cars waiting and watching you, and they're all like, yeah, let's watch this chick back it in, then yeah, I totally can't do it. I'm, I start sweating. <laughs> I don't like it. I do not like it. So by the way, over here, while I'm telling you these dumb stories, I'm not telling you what I'm doing. These are the clouds from that uh, sheep dye set, and I may have taken up too much room Let's see, can I get them to fit on? There we go. This is um, the Playful Patterns Designer Series paper. Now remember, this is the side we colored. This is the side we want. Our die won't fit. So here's the back side. And it looks like I colored the back side because our blends do bleed through. But we know that that's the right side we want. Let's see, I'm gonna overlap those, no problem. All right, here we go. Um, I'm using the mini today because I wanted you guys to know if you have the mini that this stamp set will fit in your mini. I know some people only have the mini and you want to know which dies. Joyful Life. Yes, Joyful Life is the one I cannot remember the name of. The bear riding the bike. That's what we're doing next week. Joyful Life. I've got to learn the name before we before I show it to you. All right, let's look and see. Ta-da! Now we have sheep jumping opposite directions see that so fun all right let's put the dies back so we don't lose them and now let's do that fun little brush technique at the front and on the front of our card all right we're going to start with a piece of balmy blue and we're going to need our grid paper this is um four by five and a fourth and if I can find my adhesive, I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back, stick it down, and I'm using my grid lines because now I'm going to take my um, tape, my post-it tape, which I have linked today under this, this photo, and I'm going to mask off. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five squares, which is an inch and a fourth. All right, so you line it up here, and then one, two, three, four, five, come on. Hold please. One, two, three, four, five. Stick it down. One, two, three, four, five. A little bit over. All right. There. Okay, so now you know that that line is going to be straight. Make sure everything is straight. Everything is straight. Okay, so an inch and a fourth. Why does that look weird? Okay, I guess it was just the angle. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and my balmy blue ink and I'm just gonna ink this side 
I re-inked this pad yesterday. Let's see. It was taking me far too long to get this inked. Now you can go as dark or as light as you want. I think I'll stop there and then take off your, your tape. You've got a straight line and we're gonna do the same thing across the bottom. One, two, three, four, five and five. Now this line right here is pretty much gonna go away. You're not gonna see it. Un unbelievably, it, it disappears pretty quickly. Um, but we're also gonna place the sheep, the sheep partially over it so it won't show. If you are skilled, you could cut your tape so that it's in an L and you won't have that line. All right, there we go. Now, let's see how it looks. There, and if you wanted, you know, you could do half an inch and you could do all four sides, that would be cute. Oh, I didn't need to close that. Let's get that little polka dot from the, um, hey, Gloria, how's the weather there? Are you on the Atlantic side or the Gulf side? You've got a storm coming. My, my Florida Keys are getting hit. Thinking about that guy that took us out on his boat. His name is Rio. I told you guys about him. So awesome. He was just like a salty, awesome fisherman, scuba diver, snorkeling, raised in the Keys. Just, oh, it was so good. And he taught my kids cool stuff. I know that they probably hate this time of year. The Gulf side, oh, well, are you expecting weather then, Gloria? Because isn't it kind of going up that side? Um, okay, so we've got that. Is that where your son lives, Gloria? I can't remember. I love Florida. If I was not gonna live, if I was not to live in Texas, it would be Florida, for sure. We lived in Savannah, Georgia when we first got married, and so we went down to Florida quite a bit. Jackson, the Jacksonville area, and I loved it. All right, we're gonna put this on a white card base. Basic white, or thick white. Do you guys know we have a thick white and a regular white? The thick white is for card bases. Thin white is for stamping. Thick white is also for your 3D, 3D projects with white. Um, <laughs> yeah, there are two Glorias. Gloria Valle is in my downline, and she's in uh, Panama City, right? Is that what she said? Gloria is a popular name. All right, now we're going to get our little clouds, and we're going to just have them. I'm going to have one kind of hanging off the edge, and these are going to go up here. Uh-oh, I'm getting down to crunch time. I better speed it up. And then we've got this one. Don't want to be late to the orchestra concert. Or maybe I do, I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, one more. We'll do like up here. All right, now let's stamp our sentiment. And I have two of these little hearts cut. Um, this is not the same heart we used in the last um, project. It is from the same set though, the Give It a Whirl dies. So this is the second sized heart from the smallest one. And we're going to put these on our sheet. These were cut um, from Balmy Blue Designer Series paper. You guys know that's the thing that Stampin' Up! is known for. All of our coordination, Balmy Blue ink, Balmy Blue cardstock, Balmy Blue Designer Series paper, sometimes ribbon, markers, and then this die right here, the little sentiment, is from the succulent dies. It's got a good, a couple of good little, oops, I already got those. A couple of good little label um, dies in there. And there we have it, just a cute little baby card. And I think if you were maybe needing a girl card, I think you could do that in pink, don't you? Or green, or yellow. They're so cute, those little sheets for, for a baby card, don't you think? All right. 
Number two is done. And now I'm going to show you guys what I came up with for the 3D project. You guys were helping me last week come up with ideas. And somebody said lavender. And I had a little thought at that moment. And I ran to Bath and Body Works just the other day. And I got their lavender little like travel size body wash lotion and look even hand sanitizer and i made this cute little kind of tray for it to sit in and there's our little sheet super easy i attached the tray to the bottom of the bag so it wouldn't fall off all right all right let's make it let me get my supplies over here um oh and the sentiment i love the sentiment that i used hold on let me set all this down this sentiment is from a set called Through It Together. Is that right? Did I say it right? Let me look. Through It Together. And it's in the annual catalog. Here it is right here. And there's another one in here that I thought would be good with the lavender stuff. Um, no, I did not, Debbie. My, mom, my mom's comment about traffic. <laughs> is my mom on here? You do and don't want to be late. Bring your bikes. <laughs> Traffic's awful. Better leave early. Mom, where is the traffic awful? On Bandera? Hausman? Oh, I bet on Hausman. Okay. Through it together. Follow your dreams would also be a really cute sentiment. The sentiment I use says, don't worry. Don't let worry spoil your happy. Um, I love that because that kind of speaks to me. And I think if you had a friend maybe that was worried about something... You know, and they just couldn't let go of it. They were just losing sleep. This would be a cute little thinking of you gift. A little lavender aromatherapy. Okay. All right. Where did I put my simply scored? Here it is. I chose Highland, Highland Heather. Um, it took you 55 minutes to get home from Kane's mom. So I'm Bandera, huh? Both. Great. Okay. Um... Five by five, Highland Heather. I chose Highland Heather because I felt like it matched close enough, closely. What am I trying to say? It was the closely closest matching color to the bottle. I'm, this is five by five. I'm gonna score on all four sides at one and a fourth. And I'm gonna get my bone folder. And we're gonna, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna, no, we can do that. Who? Oh, it doesn't matter. Do whatever, whichever direction you wanna do it in or whatever order. All right, crisp those lines. Now take your scissors and cut off the corners. Oh, I want to show you guys my new scissors. Look, I got them on Amazon. Aren't they cute? They are Fiskars, and they're pink, and I had to get them. Oh, man, new scissors they cut very well. And they're not sticky or gunky. <laughs> I'm not one to keep my scissors separated. I, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. These are supposed to be ribbon scissors, but look at them. They still cut ribbon just fine, by the way. <laughs> my mom had sewing scissors when I was a kid, and we would get in trouble if we used them. So I understand scissors. There are scissors that you use for paper, scissors that you don't use for anything but fabric or ribbon. All right, let's use these little clothes pins to put these um, triangles behind the sides. Okay. Uh, the little clothes pins are from either Dollar Tree or Walmart. They will hold this glue in place while you are waiting for it to dry, all right? Yeah, <laughs> the struggle bus today. You know, Carla, you, you're a mom, you'll, you'll understand. Your brain becomes like divided into sections and there's only so much room for everything. And so all the little sections get smaller and smaller, the more things you have to think about and remember. And that's where I am right now with all the things that are you know happening in the next two weeks. 
It's a lot. I'm having to write out my schedule each day so I don't forget something, which is not normally like how I am. There's just so much. Pick up here, drop off there, you know, sit and wait here. <laughs> it's just one of those weeks. Well, one of those months, really. All right, this time I use this cute little sheep. He's got a sweet little face. He looks real sweet. The others are kind of like, well, the one that's with a flag was a little sassy. This one, he looks sweet. So I'm going to use Smoky Slate again. Actually, I think this is Grey Granite, which, does anybody else think that Smoky Slate and Grey Granite are very similar? I mean, very, very, very similar. I can look at a piece of cardstock and tell you what color it is immediately. Except for Smoky Slate and Grey Granite. I can't, I can't. I have to, I have to really, like, put it up. Gray granite has more brown in it, but it's, it's very, it's very hard to tell them apart. All right, now, let's see, where did I put the dies? This little guy is very cute. It's very sweet. And I had a piece of tape here. Let's put that down there. You have a pair of scissors for everything, Irene. I, you know, I've told you guys, I'm just always in a hurry. Hurry, get this done, get that done. I, I think I'm just too much of a hurry to be particular with my scissors. Which I know, this is my job. I should, I should be more particular, but I just, I just can't. Make myself care enough. Because you guys know goo gone, it'll take anything off. If your scissors get gunky, you just goo gone it. And you can get your scissors sharpened. And then they're good as new. If you need to. I've been told, if you have a Bass Pro Shop, that they sharpen knives there. But they also will sharpen your scissors. All right, now let's get those, where are they? I cut out four. You're gonna need four of these fences in basic white. And I think I'm gonna use these little strips because this is way faster. One, this is our foam adhesive. Let's see if I have enough. I'm just gonna cut it. Ooh, that was too wide probably. Cut them into real skinny strips. And we're going to put one on top and one on bottom. You know, that orchestra concert, they said it was going to be at 245. And then suddenly, today's reminder email said 230. So if I'm late, it's not my fault. I have, you know, I have Facebook Live. And I already rescheduled it to one which should be plenty of time if I was trying to get there at 2.45. All right, let's get all of these layered. These may not be skinny enough, but for the sake of time, we're going with it. We are going with it. Here we go, almost there. I need the Jeopardy music playing in the background. What do you guys think about the new Jeopardy host? Did you guys hear that news? Are you Jeopardy watchers? I haven't watched it in a while, but they've picked two new hosts. One I'd never even heard of. The guy, never heard of him. Um, but apparently he's a producer on Jeopardy. And the other one is Blossom. You guys remember Blossom from the 90s? She was also in uh, The Big Bang Theory. She's cute. All right, here we go. Now, notice this fence has these little pokey things on the side. The, the things go, go past the post. So you want to make those go the same direction on every side. That way they don't run into each other. Because if you did it that way, they would bump and then you would kind of run out of space on your sides. So just make them all go the same direction. And... You know what, I didn't even look to see if this camera was shaking today. Um, I have a new fan down on the floor instead of the overhead fan. 
There we go. Cute, right? Like a little corral. It's very cute. Um, Sandy had commented earlier, too, that she found the Sleepy Time tea um, at Target. And I thought, oh, that would be really cute to go with the, the sheep as well. The little Sleepy Time. Have you guys seen that? It's just a tea that helps you go to sleep. Um, that would have been cute. I didn't even think about that. All right, I'm using my bone folder to just kind of give this a little bit of, you know, waviness. And we'll, uh, we will put some dimensionals. Actually, we're just gonna put one because it's gonna stick off the edge. Oh, Pepper's dreaming. She's making some weird noises. There we go. Don't let worry spoil your happy. Now, these guys will fit in here without the cello bag like this, but I feel like they're gonna all fall out, right? Because the, the corral is shallow. So, you get our six by eight bag and arrange them so that they're like that, where the lotion is behind the hand, I mean the, um, hello, what is it called? Body wash. And then I'm just gonna kind of fold that bag like that. Now, you could tie the ribbon around, but because this, um, darn it, where did my, here it is. Because the, the lotion bottle goes so high, it was really hard to do that. So I'm just gonna use a rubber band. Hopefully I don't break it. There we go. And then take your ribbon and you can either tie it around or just tie a bow and stick it on with a glue dot. This is our Highland Heather Grow Grain Ribbon. It's got some shimmer in it. Again, matchy-matchy with the colors. Gotta love the matchy-matchy. Oh, Cindy, I didn't know that. Bath & Body Works will give you cello bags. I had no idea. They've got some new stuff in there right now. Ugh, I wanted to shop, but I was in a hurry. So I just grabbed the lavender and got out of there. All right, so then you just set it down and, oh no, I was gonna show you. The other thing that I did was take some dimensionals and there it is, <laughs> put them down here and then press the um, bag down in there and they will stick to those dimensionals. And then the bag's not gonna come off, things are gonna tip over and it's all good. You know, I should I should show Bath and Body Works this because this looks like something you would buy there as a gift set, right? <laughs> I think it does. All right, we made it, and it's oh, two fifty eight or one fifty eight. What time is it? One fifty eight. I'm early. I'm gonna get out of here on time. All right, so we made three. I have another little sneak peek for you. Where did it go? Monday's card. Okay, is the sheep jumping over the moon? All right, it's a little fun fold card and there's a video to go with this. So be on the lookout for that on Monday. You'll have a fourth project to do. Remember that these um, stamp set and dies are free with a $50 purchase each. You can com combine it, but it's, you know, one for each $50. Um, the dies are while supplies last. You never know. Um, grab them before they're gone. I hope you guys enjoyed it today. Thanks for getting um, to me a little bit early. And um, <laughs> I'll let you know how the concert goes next week. Um, you guys have a wonderful week. And I will be back next Friday with whatever that stamp set is called. <laughs> Joyful Life. Um, and we'll have some fun next week. Okay? Because then, you know what? It'll be the Friday before school starts. And I'll be in a very good mood. You guys have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me. Bye.